Hey, this is Ralph. I want to continue working on this web page project here. Um, this is a visual here of the uh, finished product. This is what I want to get it to look like. And if I jump over to Firefox right now, which is where I'm currently at, in the first two parts of the video of the series, I started to put in all the structural elements and all the content. Okay, so I've got all the parts in there, but I haven't done any styling yet. So if I look over at my HTML editor, here we go, let me size this a little bit better. Okay, so I've got my page created and I've got the various parts, like there's the header of the page and within the header I have the logo, have a little search box, have the, the links navigation up there and the HTML5 badge, have my left column with all of its content, table, form, advertisement, then I have my main column with a navigation prepped and ready to style, headline one, I have an embedded uh, video, and then I've got some filler text with a hyperlink. So really all the content of the page is ready to go. So HTML side is pretty much done. I shouldn't have to change too much with this. But I do need to make a style sheet now to get it looking the way we want it to look. Now my HTML page already references a couple style sheets, but I have yet to make these style sheets. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to focus on the screen one first, which is my advice. Always get your page content then get the str and then get the screen version and then start looking into making print versions and mobile versions. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new style sheet and it's going to be called screen.css. File save as. And I'm already in the right folder it looks like. There we go. And in order to get the styling the way I want, I am going to keep referring to my directions. And the directions here really help us um, get what we're trying to get that desired outcome page. So I want to look over, I'm going to try to take these pretty much in order here. I'm going to move the directions off to my other screen so that I can kind of read them along as I'm going through here. Um, but I see, you know, the website uses a fixed width container that's 900 pixels wide, and I will have to refer to my HTML file uh, from time to time to remind myself what IDs I used for various sections and stuff like that. So, 900 pixel wide container. Uh, it's going to be centered horizontally. Container gives me some, tells me what background images to use. Header section has a particular height, and then I'm going to have to do some uh, positioning to get the elements where I want. So I'm really just going to go ahead and knock these bullet points out one by one. So I'm going to just drag that off to the side for a bit, and I'm here in my CSS file. And I always like to start my CSS files with a uh, reset rule. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to set all elements to zero margin and zero padding. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a rule for the body of the page. Uh, kind of like work, working from the outside in, so to speak. And let's see, um, according to the directions, uh, this is actually in the second bullet, the body of the page uses the back, uh, popcorn background. And I do have my files available to me. Let me see if I can't show you those real quick. Here we go. So these are the starting files that I've got. And let's see. There is a popcorn JPEG in there that I can reference as the background image of the page. And then I see there's the container background. It's a ping file. I'll need that in a little bit. So I do have these images available to me. So the body of my page, let's see, let me get my, got those, and I'm just making sure my directions are up so I can see where things are going. There we go. All right, so uh, body of the page is the popcorn. So I'm going to go ahead and set a background image URL of a popcorn, and it was a JPEG. Excuse me. And I can't remember, do I have this in the directions? Let's see. Yep, body also uses a Verdana font. That's also in the second bullet. So um, font family, Verdana. And I should be able to knock some of this out. I shouldn't have to go to my HTML very much just to kind of remind myself what I called things, you know, with their IDs. So there's the body of the page. And um, now I'm going to work on my container. A uh, container is a very common ID name for a container. Some people use wrapper, some people use container, but I'm pretty sure I called mine container. 
and according to the directions, first bullet actually, so I did second bullet, now first bullet, the website uses a fixed width container that is 900 pixels wide, so I'm going to set 900 pixels, and I'm going to do margin, 10 pix auto, that's 10 pixels top and bottom, automatic margins left and right, that'll center it horizontally, and there's a background image to be used, oops, got to spell that properly, and it is uh, that, that container, and remember it's a ping file, so container um, bg.png and yep container slash bg is the background image and I'd have to you know, remember it's a ping file okay so that takes care of the container now I'm gonna start working top to bottom remember when I put the content in I started with the header then I worked over on the left column then I worked on the right column and that's really what I'm gonna do here and in fact that's the sequence they are in the directions too. Give myself a little bit more room to work make my font a little bit bigger so you can see this easier there we go so now I'm gonna work on the header section and just to remind myself on my page I did use a div ID equals header of course I also could have used the HTML5 header tag for that alright so ID header that's what I'm formatting right now and my header is going to be position relative now I'm doing position relative because if you remember on our finished example there's my finished, there's my finished example I've got several things in my header section and I want to have really good control about where I place these and since I'm using a fixed width container using some absolute positioning within a relatively positioned container is going to work out great for me so that's why I want to use position relative on my header so then I can do absolute positioning uh, on those elements within the header so let's see and the directions tell me that it's supposed to have a height of about 130 px that looks good and it also tells me this is the third bullet in the directions the header section across the top is 130 pixels with a solid red top border solid blue bottom border and white background all right so I'll go ahead and put in uh, border bottom and I'm just gonna do, it doesn't tell me the thickness of the border in the directions I'll just do 10 and I'll do a shade of blue that's a dark blue there and let's see, and I'm going to do a border top. Um, that'll be red. And a background color of white. Okay, so that kind of takes care of the header section. So I'm moving on down, and now I start to think about the things that are in my header section. One of the things in my header section is that logo. And if you recall, back on the HTML file, I've got a logo. ID logo in my header section. I've got a search box in my head section, header section. I've got a links and a badge. Okay, so logo, search box, links, and badge. Logo. My logo um, is a div that contains an image. I'm going to do a position absolute and I'm gonna position that I don't know yet I'll, I'll start off with it's in the kind of the left side so I'm gonna do five pixels from the top and about 15 pixels from the left uh, I could start off with five but I think that works out pretty good there and my image is pretty big so in fact let me go ahead and I'm gonna save this let me jump over to Firefox and see what's happening right now so here we go. So look how big my logo image is. It's really just overwhelming that 130 pixel tall header section. So I'm going to size down that image using my uh, CSS. So let me jump back over to there. And I'm going to just say logo space image. So this is a descendant selector, the image that's within my logo area, because you know I have a couple images on this page, and I'm just going to set the height of this image to 120 pixels, which is a little smaller than my 130 pixel um, header section. So just by making that little change right there, that should now, there we go, size my logo a little bit better. Yeah, I'm not worried about all this stuff back there. Remember, I'm just working on things one by one. So you gotta remember, when you're working on this kind of stuff, it looks a little bit messy in the middle. But as long as you have a plan and you keep your focus, and don't get flustered by you know messy web pages when you're working on them. Focus on one thing at a time. So my logo is actually placed. Maybe I could have moved it a little bit more to the left or something, but let's not uh, 
quibble about these really small details. I mean, this is an exam, you're under some time pressure, so you want to get the stuff on there, and then if time permits, then you can start tweaking placements and things like that. So there's my logo. Let me jump back over to the editor, and I want to do a little bit more work on some of these other elements in that header section. So what else do I have? I have a search box in there. So I'm going to go ahead and control my search box. Position absolute. I really could save myself some time just by copying and pasting. There we go. Position absolute. Now the search box is so, supposed to be roughly in the center. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm just going to kind of uh, maybe tweak this. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try 30 pixels from the top. My, I know my whole thing is like 900 pixels wide. Uh, I'm just going to start it with 200 pixels from the left. And I'll, I'll, I'll detail all that stuff a little bit later. I just want to get it down real fast. Okay, there's my search box. And then my search box needs to be sized a little bit bigger than normal. Okay, so, so within my search box, which is a form, I'm going to take my input dot text. I said, wow, what is that dot text? If you recall, back on my HTML file, I put a class inside of the text box because I knew I was going to be formatting it. So I, my text box has a special class. My button has a special class. So now I can manipulate these elements within this particular search box or form. And uh, I'm going to do width of 400 pixels and I'll do a height of 50 pixels and there was all kinds of things you could have put in here that I didn't give you a size, I just said make it bigger. I'm going to do a font size of 22 points and I guess that's pretty good and I'll change the background color on it too. One of my favorite shades of yellow there. Okay, and I also want to mess around with my the button. Okay, I'm just doing a little copy and paste uh, but this time I'm going to change the button in my search box form. And let's see, the button doesn't need to be that big. I'll make it 100 pixels by 30 pixels. Um, oh no, I'll keep it at 50, then it'll be the same height as the text box. So it'll be nice and big and chunky there. Font size, I'll make the font size a little bit smaller. How about an 18? And I'll just keep it a normal button look. All right, so I've got that going on. Um, before I go and test, I'm gonna do a few more things here. Oh, here's my my links and what the hell might as well do another copy and paste so let me find another position copy that paste I'm going to position these absolutely but my links are going to be from the top I'll try um, I don't know, five pixels from the top is that what I did I can't remember what I did for the image uh, and instead of positioning from the left I'll position from the right and remember, I'm just trying to go off this finished example. There was my logo on the left, search box roughly in the middle, links are over here in the top right, badge down here in the bottom right. So, and from the right, probably not more than, I don't know, I'll try five pixels there. We'll see how that looks. And let's see, and then I still need the badge. I'm going to just take this whole thing and copy and paste. Oops, that's supposed to be plural, I think. Links, badge is singular. There we go, badge. Position at absolute, it's going to be from the bottom. Right, now I'll keep that 5 and 5 in there and let's see how that looks. Let me go ahead and hit save, browser, refresh. All right, I'm actually happy where the badge is. The links seem okay. Logo could have been a little bit more to the left, I think. Um, so let me just tweak a couple real things. I don't know, from the left. What if I just did like five pixels from the left, be consistent. My search box, I want to move that a little bit more over, so maybe I'll try 290. Refresh, oh, a little bit too much. 250. All right, that looks good for now. You know, good enough for government work, and we can, if we, you know, like I said, if you got a lot of time left over, then go for it. But this was a lot of stuff to do in a two-hour exam, so, but that looks placed pretty well. Yeah, it could be moved down a little bit, but let's not worry about it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here, and in the next video, I'm going to start working on the, uh, the left column, and then if I can't get it in that video, then I'll do another one where we're working on the main column. So we'll continue this up in the next vid.